Now talking about the different types of uh, membrane proteins that help in transport of molecules across a membrane, we have three different methods or three different movements of molecules. So as you can see, this is the plasma membrane. Okay, and by these we have indicated the presence of various types of membranes. Oh, sorry, the proteins. So the first kind of movement is uniport where a single molecule like if this is the like if we consider this as a molecule the single molecule will move in a single direction. So uni would mean one single and port is to transport. So this kind of transport occurs when a single molecule moves in a direction that's uniport. <laughs> And when we have two different molecules moving simultaneously, we call that co-transport, like we talked about in the previous video about active transport. So co-transport is of two types. It may be symport or antiport. A symport means, sim means same. So in symport, two different molecules, two different solute molecules or ions or whatever there may be, they move in the same direction as you can see indicated by this diagram. So this is symport. And antiport is where there are there's a simultaneous movement of two different molecules but in opposite directions. If this moves in this direction, the other molecule would move in the opposite direction. So if you remember when we talked about the active transport we said that it is co-transport when we were talking about the secondary active transport. So secondary active transport is a co-transport and it may be symport or antiport. Okay, And all of these are basically carrier proteins. So carrier proteins cause uniport, uh, they, they may be uniporters, symporters or antiporters.